Hello and welcome to That Canon Guy's Reviews. Today we will be reviewing a classic camera, the Canon F1. So it's Canon's flagship model, starting in the late 70s all the way up into the mid 80s. And it is a very nice camera. Hey, so let's take a look around the body of the camera. On the top you have the movable prism with Canon on it, the F1 logo. And you have the timer right here, which I'll up and press the shutter button. Okay. So go. Then you have the lens about here, which the lens about release is on the lens itself. You have the focusing screen and mirror. I just took a picture there. Okay, so on this side you also have the PC sync port for flashes. Let's put the body cap back on here to keep that on there. Okay, and then around the back you have the on off flash thing. And you have the serial number. Can F1 Japan back door, which is also removable. And the eye cup is also removable. It's a very good system camera because you have removable lenses, removable prisms, removable backs, you can have all different stuff, motor drives you can have on here. It's a very complete package. Let's put this eye cup back on here. Okay, I'm having trouble doing this. Okay, I'll leave that off. Okay, and then around this side you have an extra pilot top, you have your shutter speed dial, which they use to have mode dial like digital cameras do today. They have shutter speed dials, the shutter button, shutter winder, the rewinder, and the flash thing here, which you can also adapt to use with a normal flash. And then on the bottom here, have the battery door, which is for the light meter battery. It takes one 3.5 volt battery, which I can just get here. Take out this other camera. I just reviewed the Nikon F. Okay, so here's one of these. It's a PX625 battery. I believe it is at least. I think it's a PX625. We'll check that out yourself or whatever. On the bottom is Can Japan tripod socket and film there. And then if you press this button, pop open the back here, which I've replaced the light seals on on this thing completely, like I'd with the mirror damper here. Mirror damper is completely replaced. Brand new mirror damper. Brand new light seals. And all that. And there's a new light seal. There's a new one. And there's seals all around the interior edges there. And anyway, here's the little thing that just pulls it up. That winds. Click, click. And that's pretty much it for that. And then if I want to remove the prism, all I do is press the two buttons on the side. Push on it and pull on it a little bit, and then the prism pops right off. Also remove the focusing screen. Changing with other ones. Which moves just like that. It's a pretty thick one. Thick, high quality feeling one. This is a focusing screen A, which is their standard. Stick that back in there. Okay, so let's model a can FD lens on one of these. And... It works. I don't have the new FD lens, one of these new FD lenses for the 50mm f1.4. I only have the Canon lens FD mm f1.4 SSC. Just sold our other one here a couple days ago, so I don't have one else to test it out here, but let's see. Yep, SSC should work just as well, just different mount and everything, it's screw on. Okay, so that's just focusing, aperture, it's just pretty basic on there. If you look through here, you might be able to see, focus on. Yep, well anyway, that's the Can F1, and this is the Can Lens FD 50mm F1 for SSC. This camera produces amazing images, especially a couple of like the motor drive and some other accessories that you can really get some good images. Okay, so this concludes my review of the Can F1. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button below as well as the like button below. And also wait, comment, subscribe and anything else. And again, thanks for watching.